she's going to the vets, like I said before. Um, she's having her, she's had her first jab when, before we got her, she's getting a second jab now. Um, we are taking her to, yeah, a nice vet. <laughs> and they need to get a word, don't they? Yeah, I need to get a word. Um, also, because like I said, she's going to get a spaying soon. I think it's on the 22nd of February. And she has to weigh a certain amount for the procedure to go ahead because oh, she'll be too little. Yeah, she'll be too little. So hopefully, we have weighed her at home and she was two kilograms um, and a little bit. So hopefully, the scales weren't wrong. So we'll see you guys when we get just back from the vets. Betty was a good girl, were not you? She didn't cry or scratch. And she's officially 2.2 kilograms, so yeah, she's fine so she for a spay in Unless two weeks. <laughs> but she won't lose No, it. she won't be losing weight. Look at the feeling. I think she might be a little bit more sleepy today, I'm not sure. So, guys, we just got a Simply Cook box. Okay, I wonder what, what the got. recipes we've got today so then. We've got Penny a la rustica, Malay laxa, yeah, look at the Korma Thai red prawn curry. Let's have a look. So that's a pasta dish. Looks nice, that. We'll have to substitute the meat. Uh, we've got korma. a chicken korma. But we'll have to substitute the meat yeah. with that. Malay laksa. That looks nice. Yeah. And a Thai red prawn curry. So I'll have to put something else in. Just found these today. We've just been to Asda. Found these uh, meatballs and they're suitable for vegans. So I could do like a spaghetti, not a bolognese, spaghetti and meatballs and a tonight. tomato sauce. Mom. Yeah, I might do that tonight. Holly, be quiet. So guys, I'm just telling my dog off because she's barking at the window. But I'm going to be making spaghetti. Veg is it vegan, Mum, this meal? Yeah. I think it might be. Yeah, this is a vegan meal. I've got basil and oregano, um, plum tomatoes, and this is a really nice Lloyd Grossman tomato and chilli got onions to chop up and put in and these meatballs which are suitable for vegans so i'm going to be making it and also i have washed up today and emptied the bin also if you can see this there i made some vegan these are vegan by the way to show you um suitable focus suitable for vegan anyway i made some mug shots if anyone's well, not mug shots but you know like cake like mugs basically you mix it oh, I can't put the lid back on basically you mix them all together and put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds also some cashew milk like vegan cashew milk and yeah i made that and I made one and it was so delicious. I just made a little portion though. Anyway, so I'm going to get a pan out. So guys, I have got my pan out. First thing I'm going to do is put the hob on and put some oil on in the pan. Also, I just wanted to explain that I am in clothes. I have just got this on because it's a little bit chilly. And when we put the heating on, because it's quite a new house, it gets really hot and I don't want that. Okay, so the first thing is I am going to chop the onions. Okay, I'll wait a minute because I need to get... So guys, I am going to... Okay, I cannot, definitely not cook things with one hand i just wanted to say that um, make sure you have adult supervision or make sure that you've asked an adult to cook and they know that you are using a knife as sharp as this and 
yeah, I have been taught how to cook and things, as my nana is quite a good cook, so she does teach me how to do techniques with a knife, so I am extremely careful when I use a knife. Guys, I have just finished chopping the onions, the hob is on. Make sure also to have clean hands. I need to put that in the bin, but you just get the, the oil. I use some of Chris's shampoo, the crisp and dry. Yeah, he's been using that. Yeah, but he doesn't mind me using it. Sometimes I use it for some bacon butties. I'm joking. I don't eat meat, but... I was trying to have a joke. Okay, so if you didn't know, you have to wait till these are sort of gone translucent. Um, and then they are cooked. So I'm going to fry these for a little bit longer. And then I will start to put in the plum tomatoes, the sauce and the basil, the meatballs. And then I will put the pasta on because it is only quarter past four which is sort of a bit embarrassing but i only had a piece of fruit for lunch so yeah uh, so guys i'm going to put the sauce in and then i will put the tap on Just to get the excess amount and then let's start mixing. So this is a really quick meal and I absolutely love the oh, I absolutely love this recipe. I think I've made it before. So now I'm going to flavour it with some oregano. Cool. Cool that. Quite a big sprinkle because you want it to taste Italiano and then some basil. We've got a spice, a uh, herb and spice rack over here, so it's very helpful to have that in the kitchen. Oh, it's not a quiz coming out the wrong way. Oh yeah, I think that will definitely be enough herbs. Oh, this smells so good, guys. Okay, so I'm going to pause this and then I will come back when I'm putting the plum tomatoes in. Also, guys, I nearly forgot to put some fresh garlic in. So, just a little clove. Like, not a clove, you know, like a little like segment of fresh garlic so guys my mum just came and did the tin up and i put the plum tomatoes in i've turned it a bit down now just so nothing burns i've still got a little bit of water from the tin so i'm just going to put that in because i've gone a bit thick and then also i'm just going to put in a little bit of the tomato sauce from that and then I will come back with you guys once I am putting the spaghetti in. I don't know if I mentioned with the spaghetti we're using it's 50-50 so it's 50 like white and 50 whole wheat so it's quite good for you. Um, if you haven't noticed yes I have got one hand with that nail polish. Basically if you want a little bit of a story <laughs> I was painting my nails one, when uh, my mum was moving the furniture out of my room that I didn't want and I did and the bathrooms like in the hallway so I didn't want to go out and I did that and then she shouted to me so I can I have not had time to do the other hand anyway so now what I do is I sorry about that guys I'll come back to you guys in a minute once I put the spaghetti in the bowl so guys I've just put the spaghetti in I've boiled a kettle don't know if this is really going to be enough water. 
I don't know, is that enough water? Whew, I don't know guys, I think that's enough water or not. So I'm not going to have to use that just to pat it down a bit. I think I might need just to get some out. So I have boiled the kettle for this. I think I'm going to, might have to put a little bit more water in that, we'll see. So guys, I'm going to put a vegetable stock cube. I have turned off the um, sauce. I'm just trying, to, just trying to get this out with one hand, guys. Okay, anyway, I'm going to put a little stock cube in with the pasta. Okay. I need to put that on because I don't think that can cook without the hob being turned on. I don't really understand these hobs. Like, one of them doesn't work. That one. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to concentrate, that's all. Okay, I'm just going to put that to the back now. So that's going to cook. Let's put the stock cube. So I haven't tied that up at the moment. I'm going to do that in a second. While the pasta's cooking. That's still hot, but I don't want the onions to burn. I've tried this and I think it will need a little bit more basil in because... I put some tomato sauce in from the tomatoes and it sort of got rid of all the flavour. Bit of oregano there. Okay, so I will get back to you guys when the pasta is done. So I'll see you guys soon. So guys, I'm going to put in the meatballs. You want Oh, for crying out loud, what have I done? Oh, phew, it didn't touch it. Whoo! That is a close escape. I'm just going to have to mix that in. I don't know, because that's on. And because this pan is so, like, big. Mm, I don't know what to do, guys. Because that is, that, like, seriously, this is the hob. Oh, wait, 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 wait. this hob might work. Please say it works, guys. How's that? Please say this hob works. Oh, yes. yes! It works! Right, I just want to give you a tip, guys, if you're cooking. Just in case uh, someone my age is watching this. Always move it to the side, just in case you knock it and it flips over. Okay, so now I'm going to tidy the herbs, spices and put stuff in the bin. And I will be back with you guys when I'm putting the pasta into the that mix, whatever, spaghetti, whatever. So guys, this is the finished one Looks that I made. Yummy. Smells yep. good. Yeah. Well done. 